Hello viewers, welcome back. After a long time, I'm making a video for our viewers, especially for English major students and those who are doing their bachelor or those who are now pursuing masters or those who will now pursue their uh, research career. So uh, I have a good news to share. Uh, actually, I have been selected for PhD uh, in English and uh, I'm very happy because uh, since my MA, I have been uh, thinking about doing uh, PhD research in English literature, but I have been uh, not able to find out my research area. Uh, in which area I will do my research or whether it will be field-based or uh, textual-based, that too, I had no idea. But now, after uh, three years, uh, I have sorted out my problem uh, sol solution. So I will do my research on uh, cultural uh, studies part of English literature. Uh, though uh, I have not decided yet uh, in which part of cultural studies I will explore, but uh, right now what I have made up uh, my mind to do is um, folk tale. Okay, uh, there are many tribes in our northeast India, in our Assam, uh, and uh, those rich tribes, uh, affluent folklores or folk tales that have not been uh, completely explored by the researchers, and I would like to tag that opportunity to explore uh, research uh, on the basis of various tribes, um, folk tales, their uh, folk songs, folk music, and everything that has been uh, related to oral tradition. So that was my uh, brief research uh, interest. So now I would like to share how I was selected for this PhD in English. So before going to any PhD uh, interview or written test, you must you must have one thing in mind. That is that I want to do this PhD research and this PhD research, it has not been done before by any researchers. Or if somebody have done, then to this aspect or this part, it has not been explored before. That thing you must be crystal clear. Okay. Uh, the interview board, uh, they always want to uh, see the enthusiasm of a research scholar. And when you uh, fail to show or display your research aptitude or your uh, interest, then they will not be able to select you. So it will be up to you how you will uh, present yourself before the interview board. Okay. Uh, if I talk broadly, then some university, in some university, after having met JRF, you don't have to appear in written test. But for uh, the rest university or for some other university, if you uh, have net JRF, then do you have to appear in written test. And after clearing the written test, you have to appear in interview. And after clearing the in interview, you will be able to uh, 